Okay, we're here with uh, Belmont Abbey from left to right. We have uh, Pat Taylor, head coach Chris Anderson, and uh, starting pitcher Grant Lohmeyer. Uh, we'll open it up with a uh, statement from coach, and then we'll uh, open it up for questions. Yeah, it was an unbelievable game. Um, you know, if you stayed and watched the whole thing, I thought it was back and forth in game two the whole way through. And ultimately, uh, one team had to win. And it happened to be North Greenville. A lot of credit to them. They're extremely talented, well coached, and well prepared. Uh, it's really hard to beat the defending national champion at their place. Grant, what was what was working for you? I mean, you've had success against them, but was there anything you did different today? Is it just working for you? Definitely today? change up in the second inning. Kind of struggled with it all year. The last few starts kind of came around. It was just a give me give me a pitch to help me lead to a lot of crucial outs, ground balls. Yeah, I mean, it just felt like, you know, you feel like you're, you're the kryptonite kind of for but, you know, like, is there something that you see out there or is it just attacking them the way you know how to attack people? Just attack them early, let themselves get themselves out, kind of just let them be fall on the ground. That, you know, it didn't go your way, but, like, you know, you all battled the whole time. I didn't expect anything less, but, you know, was that coming out of that first game wasn't it just hey we're locked in we got to get ready and do the best we can to get the try to get the result we need yeah we're we're a resilient team if i've learned anything through this year that i would i would define us as resilient and um, you know we, we never give up we always believe in each other we love each other and and then uh and then uh coach just uh uh, looking back on just the season as a whole, 41 wins, getting to getting to a super regional. Just what can you say just about this group, what they've accomplished this year, and especially you know with guys like Pat and Grant who who really helped lead the program the last few years. Yeah, I mean these two guys sitting beside me. I mean the stuff, the the comeback player of the year to my left, and the, and some of the stuff that Patrick's had to go through in his uh, last couple three years he's been here. I mean, that's, I'm so happy to be sitting in between these two guys. Um, the year that we had and being able to be a sub-region champion and um, coming in here and getting the opportunity to play North Greenville, Greenville is unbelievable. Um, I'd love to try to line it up again with them at some point in time. And, um, you know, we, we had a, this region is, is extremely tough. Um, we've had the, two, uh, the last two national champions out of this region. and. Uh, I think there's a really good chance they get a thir third in a row. So uh, it's really hard to win, and um, to be able to be sitting in between two guys that I love and will be in touch with probably the rest of my life, uh, to do it with them is, uh, I'll never forget this year. So, so Landon was kind of echoing everything you just said and talking about how bright the future is for y'all as, as a program as well. Like, you know, it's hard to think about now, but you know you've had such a solid foundation, a long, great program. But just you got to be excited for what's coming ahead. Too, yeah, sure. we got a good group of young players. There's no question. A lot of guys returning that'll be really good for us, and they'll be sitting in these positions at some point in their careers. Uh, but you know, they're led by you know the, the guys I'm sitting next to, and. Um, that's a credit to them. I, I, I definitely would like them to answer more questions. I feel like I'm just running them out out here. Yeah, uh, you, you kind of alluded to it, but Grant, you know, it's been pretty amazing. Like you said, you wanted to come back later the in the conference and just what you went through to get here to have that, you know, inner day, you know, like, I mean, it's just been incredibly impressive. Like, how hard has that been to get to this point? It's been pretty hard. I have to credit everyone around me. If I didn't have these guys, there was a good chance I wasn't coming back for this year. And at this point, I'm pretty happy I did. And, oh, and, okay. and, and, then, uh, and then just for both, Pat, uh, for both Pat and Grant, just whoever wants to answer first, just from everything that you guys have accomplished, getting the Super Regionals, you know, making the tournament back to back years at least, uh, what will you guys both remember most about, about your time you know, playing here, playing at Belmont Abbey? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just remember the practices, honestly. <laughs> That's kind of really like my favorite thing. I've, I've never been around a coaching staff that I can say I genuinely enjoyed going out to practice every day and being with the guys. It was, it was an honor. I'd say um, first memory or my favorite memory would be first bullpen I threw in front of the coach Andrew. So <laughs> me and him kind of got into it a little bit, but ever since then it's been uh, I was just trying to challenge you from your first bullpen on. <laughs> that was all it was until today. But since then I think I'm uh, pretty happy. So, so.
and then and then, uh, and then as, as you guys uh, and then as you guys you know, move on to the, the next chapter of seeing uh, the younger guys that are coming back next year I guess what advice like would you give them uh, you know, as they as they try to you know make it back to the spot or you know, try to try to make it back to, to carry next next season say so don't get satisfied you got a, the best young core since I've been here and you know, I believe in those guys and I know they're gonna have a hell of a year I have to say, remember this feeling. Obviously, this is my first time here, and it sucks. But there's going to be more for Belmont Abbey. But that's got to mean a lot to you as a coach. For them saying that, they're setting the tone, right, for the future. Yeah, we couldn't have two better people sitting here with me. So uh, uh, anything they're going to say or is only going to be echoed by me. And it's part of the reason I want to have these two, two guys up here on this interview. Um, they've really exemplified who we are and who we want to be with our culture and uh, passing it forward uh, into the next generation. So I'm, I'm really pumped to have them here. I uh, wish we were on a, a different outcome, but uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Congratulations on a fantastic Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Good. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we go